Hello, and welcome to another session of Swords of the Serpentine. My name is Lowell, pronouns he, him, and we are in the second session of our second case. I'm going to go over the details of that uh, for our players since it's been a week, and uh, we have uh, a returning player who wasn't here last time. Uh, so I'm, I have sent Alexia's summary, but there's also the, the, the chance that I may add in more details as we, we go along here. Uh, uh, just a reminder, uh, we have a set of safety tools that we use, uh, lines, and we have hard lines on sexual assault, torture by the PCs, peril to pregnant women and infants, and animal abuse, and then a veil for sex, essentially the fade to black. We are also using the X card, which can be used for problematic material, uh, uh, objectionable things. If we start heading towards something that's on a line of veil, uh, play that you feel is intrusive uh, or aggressive, there are all kinds of reasons to do that. X card is used to stop things. It can also be used to recalibrate. Again, you don't have to defend your choices when you use the safety tools unless you want to. And then, of course, last uh, tool that we use is the open door policy. So let me quickly go through. Last time, we started out with Oxtreth. Oxtreth, uh, this is after the whole uh, lifestyle choices and things and people going into debt to make themselves look look nice and have a good time uh, uh, and those choices. Uh, Oxtreth was contacted by uh, Ritz Taldum, a, a scholar priest, librarian priest, uh, saying that he wanted to meet with Oxtreth. Uh, but when Oxtreth went to the meeting and brought along his compatriots. Uh, instead, a city guardsman arrived, uh, essentially checking on things. Uh, a guardsman from the theater district of uh, Eversink, who uh, told you that Rich told him had been murdered. And after some negotiation, and in fact, getting a payday, uh, I believe uh, that uh, Falk was able to do that, uh, uh, the case was dropped in your lap. Uh, you went to the theater district and investigated. The body was still there. Uh, 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 in the alley, Ritz had been killed by essentially a needle to the back of the spine. Uh, uh, a sophisticated ambush assassination that was done. Uh, his spirit had been sent on or banished or something. That seemed to have happened a bit after he was murdered. Uh, and whatever papers he had on him had been taken uh, and taken after. So the assassins didn't take it, but someone else did. When they investigated the body to see if there was anything else, they noticed that uh, Rich Taldum had bruises, uh, uh, mostly around the midsection, uh, uh, that had been healed and had been treated, that indicated that he had been beaten some days earlier. Uh, because Rich Taldum had come from the church, uh, part of the group went to the church to kind of follow up on that angle, and part of them went to look around the theater district to get the word on that. Uh, at the Church of Denari, they found out that Rich had been tasked with investigating an adventuring company called the Scarlet Company, uh, that it had returned 10 years ago, uh, that it had had five of its six members return, uh, uh, that uh, the records were incomplete there. Uh, uh, and they found out that he had been set to this task by a senior person of the Church of Denari, a woman named Seeker Asharam, who incidentally had been killed that previous evening as she was uh, giving a sermon in one of the uh, satellite uh, temples, uh, she was attacked by a fanatic uh, and killed. Uh, and then the attacker was uh, subsequently killed as well. Uh, the records were weirdly absent, though, about this company, the Scarlet Company, in the church records. And the librarian that they spoke with by the name of uh, Varlitos uh, uh, told them that. Uh, the tax records might have more details on this expedition. Uh, there were some other things that they found out uh, there. One, they found out that 
Rich Taldem had been at the church the previous day and had gone to see another one of these seekers, uh, another senior person of the church, uh, and in particular, a person who is a rival to seeker Asharam, the person who hired him, but he actually went to see seeker Dohensen. And there were some other details that came about that makes the group believe that it's possible that seeker Dohensen was actually amongst that adventuring group that returned 10 years ago. So that's one thing that happened. That's sort of the, the, the churchy side details of things. On the other side of things, the group found out that uh, Ritz Taldem had been around in the theater district uh, and had tried to get in to uh, this uh, uh, wondrous play opera that is going on that is all the talk of the town uh, for it being vaguely scandalous, uh, but had wanted to meet, you know, to see the person who was in charge of the opera company, owner of the place, uh, and uh, they uh, uh, threw him out uh, on his ear when he came to, to see them. But that's that that particular being thrown out didn't line up with the bruises on him. He had clearly been bruised and damaged earlier than that. When they went in and spoke with the theater owner by the name of Kiranon, uh, they could see that he is somewhat paranoid. They had a couple of uh, sophisticated uh, bodyguards with him. Uh, and uh, uh, again, the group were able to find out that he had uh, had good luck and uh, he started his fortunes as a uh, essentially owner of this opera house 10 years ago. So another point that lined up. The other detail they got uh, when they were at the theater is that a friend of Kiranon, uh, Thana the Sedate, a maybe a, a cultist, maybe a wizard, uh, had immolated uh, herself. Uh, 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 had had exploded in flames uh, a few days earlier, and that had made Kiranon very upset. Now, uh, after those sort of like uh, investigations, there were a couple other tangents, a couple other things that were looked into. Uh, on the one hand, uh, they were able to figure out that the killers. Uh, the signature is to a group of assassins in the guild called the Horka, uh, a, a group of expert assassins. And within that, they also found out that the reason that the Horka had been sent and that there had been some, some upset and sort of general tumult among the, the guild uh, is that a major player in the guild uh, uh, by the name of Zazimak uh, had died under mysterious circumstances in her house uh, uh, a few days earlier. That, that's as far as they got with that particular line of things, but they know that that's something that's important. They also spoke with uh, uh, Maroon, who is Ritz Taldem's sister. They were able to confirm that uh, Ritz Taldem had been hired by Seeker Asharam, that he had been investigating uh, this adventuring company, she told them that Ritz Taldem had been beaten by somebody that he was looking into, that he had gone to a healer afterwards or had been found by a healer afterwards, uh, uh, and that he hadn't shared with her uh, uh, the details of what was going on, but he knew that she he was worried. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, oh yeah, uh, and uh, uh, Oxtrath found out that Thana faked her death. That was the other other big thing when th uh, he went to investigate the site where this uh, uh, so-called wizard died in a burst of flames. Oxtrath, who is a master of illusions, was able to figure out that illusion magic was used in great part there. Uh, so uh, who do you know, who do you suspect is in this company? We have six people we have a person who just died didn't return we don't know their name you suspect that dohensen 
uh, Secret to Henson was among them, that Kiranon was among them, uh, that Zazimak, this thief, was among them, and possibly that Thana the Sedate was among them, which means that you have one name that's missing and one name of a person who didn't return. You also don't have that name. Uh, I put a quick list of like threads uh, there are on the NPC tab uh, at the column J there. So uh, just to kind of refresh that, what did I miss? Anything? Okay, um, I'm sure I missed something. Yes, Brandon. You said more than I remembered, so <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, the only uh, little thing was that Maroon um, offered uh, a reward uh, for the resolution of her brother's mother, and there's wealthy, wealthy spice merchants, so that carries some weight. Yes, yes. So, so you have an additional benefactor, even if this uh, town watch person stiffs you. Uh, Maroon will uh, definitely has the money to to help pay you off. So that is where we are taking up this evening. Uh, Alexi, I, I, I saw the question was answered. Yes, you do reset all of your levels. And you get an advance. So Ooh. what you can do with an advance is this. Uh, you have three points. You can raise up an investigative ability by one for those three points. Or you can put those three points into general abilities. You can spread them around as you want. Now, you can my, take my a, thief specific abilities. Those count as investigative. Yes, they are. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you have a zero in something, you can take a first level in it. Uh, that is mm -hmm. that is allowed. Or I can spread them around in general abilities. Or I can spread them around in general abilities, which are, are delightful, including combat. Yes. In case mm -hmm. in case you wanted to use that sword, I know you took the tag off it and the plastic wrapper off it last time. <laughs> uh, so uh, maybe maybe you want to uh, invest a little bit of uh, practice with it. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, let me take a look at where I want to put these points. So let's take up. We're again, just because I want to hard cut us to a scene we've in, in before, we are again back at Ogstreth's lavishly uh, uh, appointed in uh, uh, that that he's clearly uh, uh, living above his means at the this point. The glaze and hearth. The glaze and hearth. It has uh, a large common room with a big four-poster uh, uh, fireplace that's open on all four sides. It's beautiful, and mm -hmm. they they treat uh, Oxtreth with uh, with grace. Uh, and decorum uh, because the bill hasn't come due yet. So uh, uh, he is there. Uh, so the four of you are are gathered. We're going to assume uh, that probably what has happened is we're coming in just as this tale of everything that has uh, been going on, uh, the, that the, the, the group is finishing up narrating the story to, to Caden. Caden, what's your reaction? Sounds like a complicated knot of vipers you've got your hands on there, huh? Yes, um, in a way, although it does all seem to tie back to this one time Scarlet Company. Um, mm hmm. And the one, the one person you haven't found much about much out about is the uh scarlet company member who never came back huh just so very very insightful Kate, and i i'm glad we've given you all of this information so that you may finish solving the case for us i think it will be very educative for you just as long as i'm getting a cut of this uh this reward that the dead guy's sister promised us if you help you get the cut <laughs> I just meant. so, just so. I want to. I want to know who killed the guy too. It seems seems very suspicious how this all went down. Only so, we're, we're just one murder. There's more than I can count. Really? I thought you. Uh, I you can went count to school. <laughs> oh. 
Well, you say, I think that tab is, is still open. And as he says that, the innkeeper kind of gives him a look. Speaking of things that are too high to count. So it is uh, uh, early evening at this point. Uh, you finished a, a, a supper here. The question is whether, whether you continue on with your investigations into the evening or do you to return to rest or or how do you want to want to step from here folk what are you thinking well i mean it is it is getting late um i i don't know i mean I, folk is uh so so it, it's becoming evening um the you know, folks says, do any of you uh, have a hankering to for the opera? Um, I mean, we, we, we've heard about, right, this this big show that uh, Kiranon is putting on at his opera house. I'm I hear it's scandalous. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, if, if we were hoping to make a fresh start tomorrow, it, maybe it wouldn't hurt to to take in uh, take in some fine uh uh you know fine opera if 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 we could find a way in i i do hear that it's pretty uh pretty hard to find tickets these days oh, and here i was excited that you were pitching this because you'd already had them well if only we had access to a world-class future king of thieves to show us how to sneak into the opera I mean, or, or we could just use these tickets and I pull out the tickets that I pickpocketed earlier from people on their way to the <laughs> opera. That feels like uh, preparedness. Yeah, I'm willing to roll for it. In fact, uh, you know what? I'm putting one point in preparedness now. So okay. there we go. <laughs> so these are high-end expensive tickets, uh, uh, unusual. So I think I want to set the difficulty for this. I don't want to make it outrageous, but let's set the difficulty at a five. Hmm. Remind me what sure. rolling is in this so game. So when you roll for your general ability, you roll 1d6. You can spend whatever you would like from your pool uh, to boost that roll. Okay. And I've got to beat a five. Got to beat a five. A five or better. I will, I will spend two preparedness. Okay. Uh, okay. where is the, is there a link to the, there oh, is a link oh, to the ruler, roller. Future King of Thieves coming through. All right. 1d6 plus two preparedness slash pickpocketing. It's so a that's six. a six. Yeah. So I think you have have tickets. You can tell uh, uh, because I think the circles that you run in that these are definitely you are up in what might be called the nosebleed section of, of the opera house, the 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 third balcony. I, I understand the acoustics are marvelous. I I, I think we'll still be able to enjoy it and investigate. Yeah, you're you're not going to look a set of gift tickets in the mouth, are you? Gift is a generous descriptor. I am definitely giving them as a gift to you. <laughs> you don't. Well, then he's got us there, folks. <laughs> Red, you've been quiet on the subject of the opera. I think I've got as, got as much of the opera world as, I'm, as I can take <laughs> um, with my previous uh, uh, engagement there uh, with mm. Duke Orsino. Um, you wouldn't I have think, to pretend to be a servant this time. That's good. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know, I think I'm more moved to um, to go look up some people for whom uh, these evening hours is pretty much when they wake up. Anyone particular you have in mind? Well, um, certainly Zazimak and her friends. 
Um, I don't uh, think Zazamek's waking up these days, though. No, no. But somebody has her house. Um, you can bet that. And uh, perhaps a motivation to find out who uh, would dare to take out a member of the Assassin's Guild. The uh, prof professional courtesy runs pretty strong in Eversync. And uh, I bet whoever, uh, there, there's not a bit of resentment there among her peers. It would be a shame for you to miss the opera, but afterwards I'd be happy to give you a point by point recap of the entire plot. Perhaps even be able to reenact some of the songs. As long as you're buying the beer. Augsworth has a great voice. I wouldn't turn it down. So I know that Augsworth and Folk, uh, at least I have the sense that they are definitively going to the opera uh, uh, and that uh, our uh, uh, warrior Bronwyn is uh, planning on uh, checking out the Zazamak lead. Caden, opera, Zazamak, something else? Mm -hmm. It's tricky because the opera probably presents lots of opportunities for you know a little bonus pickpocketing, um, but but the Assassins Guild you know is obviously a longtime rival with the Thieves Guild, and so you know getting into their dirty laundry is you know exactly in keeping with Caden's overall ambitions. Just so I, you'll have a large red haired distraction. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll tag along with Bronwyn for this one. Okay. So we will see our groups gather. You take the tickets, uh, Augsburg and Folk. Uh, uh, you two will head to to the uh, Opera House, uh, and uh, Bronwyn and Caden will head to one of those sort of slightly more upscale portions of the city that. Uh, uh, feels like a place where people who have done th bad things uh, are able to spend their money uh, uh, and have nice things. Uh, so, Uxtreth folk, there are, uh, uh, there is a crowd here. They check the tickets at the door. They they have little magical, like, uh, checks to confirm that the the tickets is the equivalent of black lighting, I imagine for for this, uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know you will hear a number of people shouting that no no the tickets were stolen you know blah 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 blah, uh, and uh, 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 you eventually will will be hustled up. Uh, this is a very nice opera house. Uh, uh, it. Uh, has been around for quite a long time. Uh, Karen Ann must have come into a deal to be able to have taken over such a lovely and majestic place. Uh, and uh, you will get settled up. It is a long walk up there, Oxtruth. Just, uh, if I could just lean on your shoulder a bit, Falk. It's like, oh, there's more steps than there are in my old town. You'll get planted up there. You can see the stage, and you can see the 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 curtains, and you hear the 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 sound of the orchestra there. So, folk, what is what is this this opera? Is this uh, opera buffa? Is this comedy? Is this tragedy? Is it satire uh uh is it some wild new innovation what do you think is is this this opera um yeah i i think it 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 uh yeah i mean it, it presents itself as kind of light comedy but for I mean, I think we've we've established that that it, it's somewhat scandalous, mm -hmm. and uh, so there's um, it, it's just filled with 
innuendo and double entendre and, um, you know, glances at um, kind of current things that are going on. I mean, it has a different setting. It's it's not set in, in Eversync. I mean, it's it's like some, you know, fabulous, uh, fictitious city, but it, it's, it's very clear that, right, that, that there are a lot of uh, uh, targets of the satire. I think that Oxford, you will note here as you are, are watching that there are some characters amongst this play that have a kind of, of resonance to you. Uh, there is a witch character who is incredibly befuddled and uh, not particularly uh, good uh, at her job. Uh, there is a priest uh, whose name is like a kind of a, uh, perhaps a punny play on uh, Dohensen's name that uh, is also uh, perhaps a little handsy with the hands around the chambermaids. Uh, uh, and it's just a general feeling like there's some people being poked fun at, uh, uh, perhaps even a, uh, a bumbling Lord of Thieves uh, uh, and, and some others that, that it make you sense, say definitely that there's a little bit of Kieran on poking fun at at his compatriots there of the the company in in specific or just notable folks in the town no definitely he is is sending up his old adventuring pals if that's what's going on uh a, a little bit in this performance um Figuring out the pattern of the of those comic characters, can we get any more information about who else may have been in the Scarlet Company? You will definitely, as you're kind of watching, which which characters are kind of like have the sense that maybe they're written in a little bit, that that they've been added to to to, to the play. Uh, uh, there is uh, two things. One, there's definitely. You know, in Amadeus, uh, how there's sort of the, the figure of the father, you know, the sort of in the background, we never see the figure in the, the, the opera. It's sort of put as a uh, a, a kind of uh, a ghost that's there, that's lingering over. There's definitely a figure like that. And you want, have to wonder if that represents that sixth member of the company. But the other person who's kind of a little bit of a buffoon is uh, there's a sword master, like a fencing instructor. Uh, who is uh, uh, a little bit into her cups. Uh, uh, and uh, you can see that like all her students have like bandages on them uh, to indicate that that she's not very good at, at practice. Does that seem like a fair read? Yeah. Uh, and, and if Falk doesn't tell me to be quiet, I'm explaining <laughs> all of the ins and outs of, of this and, and the politics of it. Yeah, and, and can you believe that this is going on uh, in front of like this this crowd? It, it's like you know, putting it all all out for display. It's marvelously subtly done the way that Kieran on has written this. It's apparent to everyone witnessing it what's going on, but they can't do a thing without looking even more foolish. It's work of art, Falk. And, and, and I think Falk at the mention of Kieran on and says. Do you do you think Kiranon is here? Is is it typical for um, the the director to be be watching uh, their their production? This is an opening night, right? This is just no. This has been going on for a while. Okay, I don't know for 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 Kiranon. He's the director, the writer, and the owner. So it seems possible he would be around. Would love to give him my compliments in person. Yeah, I well, I I, I would love to, to, and I would like to see his his reaction as he sees all of this uh, 
going on. And I am curious about that, that swords master, um, you know, that's a curious one. Uh, and, and it has me a bit befuddled. Oh, out of character real quick. I'd asked in the chat, did anyone ask Kiranon before about the other members of the company? Or did we not know about the company when we talked to him? I, I think there was some, uh, some mention of a threat to him, but I don't think the company itself was, okay. was mentioned. The only reason you got Thana's name was that Bronwyn uh, and uh, Co. Uh, spoke to the house manager afterwards, and he filled them in on on the, that relationship. And while they were doing that, we were at the church finding yeah. out about the company. Okay, right. so it's never merged together yet. Okay. Right. Uh, so I'll come back to you as as, as the, the the play kind of uh, uh, opera wraps. Uh, let's come to, to Bromwyn and Caden. Uh, you are in this part of town. There is more of a city watch presence here. Uh, uh, in this uh, portion of town. Uh, and you will see uh, Zazimak's house is, there aren't very many lights in windows. Uh, I think, uh, uh, Caden, you know how to case a joint. Uh, and I think the feeling that you will get is probably there are just some servants there uh, uh attending to the house uh there are definitely markers uh around uh uh you know for the the funerary services and things like that so how do you two want to approach this well Perhaps um, I could see if I can engage the servants and you have a quiet look around. You think there's more to be found in the house? Well, I think we don't know how Zazimak was killed. And that's something. And um, well, the Scarlet Company may, I mean, certainly um, uh, Ritz Taldum um, had papers taken um, off of him, you know, that he had Ooh. found out about the company, it's certainly possible that some of the others kept, you know, some sort of record or journal or diary or something like that. Um, so I'm looking for papers that seem juicy? Yes, I would think so. I mean, if we find something that's in code, <laughs> that's, our, <laughs> that's your bet. Um, but who knows? Maybe... Uh, Someone in the Assassin's Guild may have felt sufficiently protected by his status not to, um, you know, not to engage in too elaborate precautions. Hard to know. We'll see. Though if I know anything about the Assassin's Guild, overly elaborate is kind of their modus operandi. Uh, um, well, you know, it depends a lot on the Assassin. Um, They're big posers. They've got to be all fancy, got to oh. make an artistic statement. <laughs> um, you didn't know Riala the knife. Uh, no. She she pretty much had just a stiletto and she was, um, well, she commanded a pretty high price uh, because she could, she, <laughs> she had a reputation for being able to get into the most heavily guarded places stab her target and get out alive. Okay, because but was she guild or freelance? She was guild. Uh, she was very highly paid guild. Oh. But you're right. Perhaps they're all posers. Um, but I dare see you find out. Just be careful. I'm always careful, Broadman. When have you known me not to be careful? I don't have enough fingers to count that. It was a rhetorical question. <laughs> you get, dis get distracting. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, how, how so, do you want to uh, approach this? It's a household that's kind of shut up for the the, the evening. There are just uh, uh, servants in there. They've had their master killed uh, a few days ago, and you expect that probably the the guild has been in 
and have has given them marching orders effectively. So what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to to uh, take a very straightforward approach and I'm going to knock. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can get in, get some of the servants talking. I'm so, sure with their master alive, they'd be very close mouthed as it is now. Things may be different. Uh, uh, there is the, uh, the, the, the door will open. Uh, the figure looks at you suspiciously. It is after dark and you've shown up and they'll say, what is your business? My business is trying to determine what and who killed your master, which I'm sure is something of importance to you. Is that not right? I don't know anything about it. Don't know anything about it. My name's like, you can my tell name. that this guy is scared. Like you can tell that the, that the guild has been here, has probably worked them all over and has a certain amount of terror to him. Look, I'm 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 not with the guild. I'm not going to hurt you. But can I come in and we can have we have this conversation not on the doorstep where it uh, attention? No, you, you can't come in the house. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We can talk here. Look, you look like someone who could use a friend. What do you want to spend here to to get them on your side? I'm going to, I think I'll spend charm. Okay. Uh, I think you spent your charm last time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I did. Um, I can't read. Trustworthy. That's okay. Trustworthy. Say, we, we can talk out in the garden, but we can't go in the house. Um, all right. Just uh, someplace out of sight. And he'll walk you uh, over and he'll say, yeah, you do. I can't let you in. The, the the wraith they left will find you. I can't. Why would they do a thing like that? They don't know who killed him. They left uh, just in case. Hmm. Caden, let's come to you. How do you want to make your way into this house? How many how many stories is the house? Ah, uh, I think it's a beautiful three story house, a uh, uh, lovely uh, sort of Venetian style architecture, lots of crenellations and uh, uh, beautiful uh, uh, work on the outside. Though yeah, it sounds uh, eminently climbable, eminently climbable it is. However, uh, the house of a thieves guild person, and I think right away you can see a assassins. Guild? Uh, Assassin's Guild. Uh, okay. uh, you can see that there are certain precautions, uh, you know, the razor sharp things on windowsills and, and mm. that that sort of thing. Uh, so I think I want to have you make uh, a burglary roll. Uh-huh. Uh, What's here. the difficulty? I think the difficulty is five uh, uh, to, to, to get in without causing a ruckus uh more cause injury to yourself right gotta avoid the the hidden bell lines and the razor wires they home alone to this place yeah yeah okie dokie you know what i'm gonna spend a i'm gonna spend a cool three burglary on this that sounds like a good idea because it is an achievement to burglarize an assassin's house but uh, but Caden Coyle is going to prove himself up to the task. Future th king of thieves, baby. Uh, that's you. an eight, all told. Eight. So you will get up to that third floor. You will find a window. Uh, do the lift on the frame. Avoid, you know, clip the line. That's maybe connected to a crossbow, that kind of thing. Get inside and start making your way uh, around here. Uh, what What is it that you're looking for? This is clearly like probably the, the bedrooms are up here on this this top floor, maybe, maybe other valuables. What is it you're looking for? Okay, any, 
you know, uh, you know, convenient clues about the death of the house's owner and any uh, stashes of documents that that might shed additional light on our larger investigation, I guess. What do you want to spend to represent your your look through here? What what ability is it of your investigative abilities is, is appropriate here? I I think I think very plausibly this is a, a time for some ridiculous luck. Absolutely. You will find your way uh into the bedroom. And I think you can see that there, there's blood on the bed. Uh, there's blood splatters elsewhere uh, around. Uh, uh, and it definitely looks like uh, uh, your victim, uh, Zazimak, like fought. Uh, uh, and uh, fought with with uh, some skill, uh, but I think the the thing that will uh, flash for you uh, is uh, you kind of cross a line and you hit a flicker, and you can tell that the Assassin's Guild had. Uh, uh, some kind of wizard in here. Uh, and you can see that they've done a scrying, trying to determine what, what happened. Uh, and the weird thing is this, this sort of uh, projected image that kind of is, is left behind uh, that shows the victim uh, fighting uh, for their life, uh, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, two blades, short blades in hand, real skill. Uh, they're also apparently like you don't see the attacker, but the attacker is also clearly using like two short blades in a similar style uh, attacking. Assassin versus assassin. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, 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 you see uh, Zazimak uh, uh, fall. Uh, and uh, then when Sazamak's body falls, you will see there is a release of some kind of magic from Zazamak. You're not sure if it's a soul or, you know, uh, something else that happens, but you can see it, it flare up in this magical projection that, that was left behind. Well, lucky, lucky me that they left their magical projection running. Uh, and I think that that's the point at which that shiver comes up your back. Hmm. That tells you that you're not alone up here on the top floor of this house. And whatever else is up here is of malign intent. We'll come back to you. All right. Oxford folk, this this opera has wrapped up for the evening. Uh, and uh, how do you want to proceed? I think we need to find the auteur that created this masterpiece. What what ability do you want to use to essentially push your way into to the backstage or the after party? What do you think is appropriate here? Well, maybe maybe just trustworthy. I was hoping to go bigger than that, but uh, yep. so trustworthy spent you're saying? Hulk, do you have anything else that you think would be useful to um what, well, uh, other ways of of going about this, we we could just try to be be sly, slide into <laughs> slide into the shadows, and uh, and uh, you know there are a lot of people here, right? Uh, you know, lots of activity as they're bustling out. We could you know try to uh, 
slide by, but... Um, Do you recall the incident of the pickle barrel? <laughs> that was the um, last time that I tried to be sly. Uh, oh, well, uh, I think that uh, I, I, I wasn't sure on all of the details that got you <laughs> into that fine pickle, but, um, you know, uh, yeah, maybe that would be best to avoid. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think if you can come across um, as uh, trustworthy, um, that might work. We, you know, if, if we were in the church, I wouldn't suggest going that route because of, of your notoriety there, <laughs> but, but I don't think you're, uh, you're quite, as, quite as well known here. Actually, that gives me another idea that might be more fun. Uh, I, I think someone who's running the security recognizes me uh, from being ex Church of Denari themselves uh, and is willing to turn a blind eye as we sneak backstage uh, because we're both enemies of the church. I like it. Uh, 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 so you'll, you'll definitely see that, uh, Brother Oxrath. Oh, my good. I, wouldn't have thought the church would have let you attend an opera such as this. Ah, they kept me loose, the bastards. Oh, I heard they kept you loose, too. Yeah, they're, they're losing more and more good people every day. Ah, ah, the, the Denari is a false god. Well, well <laughs> sure, sure, okay. <laughs> uh, what, what are you doing here? Well, it's all quite exciting, brother. I'm investigating a murder. Really? Multiple murders, actually. Uh, all right. Yes, and we think that the play might be the key that unlocks the whole case. But we need to talk to its author. Oh, well, Master Kiranon is, is back with the, uh, the guests he has for the evening after the, the, the play. I, I can get you in there, but you, you have to work here on your own after that. Oh, it won't be a problem. I have my associate, and actually, I look over at Folk to think maybe I shouldn't give your actual name. Um, do you say your name? Um, yeah, I think Folk, Folk said, you know, when, when he, he when he sees that you're about to, to give his name, he, he kind of you know, waves, waves you down. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so so folk, you know, says, "Ah, uh, my my name is, uh, uh, Ryland, uh, and, and and you know he's kind of like you know stuttering a little bit, Ryland, uh, uh, Hogsworth." Uh, uh, he doesn't sound that. It doesn't say that sounds made up, but you can <laughs> see the look on his face. It goes, uh, uh, "All right, all right." As you can see, we're masters of spycraft. We won't have any trouble if you let us through the door. Please don't tell anyone that I let you in. I I know nothing about it. And uh, after that spend from allies, you will be kind of let in a side door uh, into this large uh, reception room. There's wine flowing. There are there's food there. There are a variety of very wealthy guests and artists and uh uh you know the 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 nouveau riche and the the stylish and uh, uh all of that and i think given that bronwyn uh probably gave you a description you can see kieran on and identify him he's holding court uh and you'll be able to spot those two highly skilled bodyguards that you were told about i did forget about the highly skilled bodyguards how do you two want to play this? Let's see. I mean, we, we've got to talk our way through, right? We, we need to speak to the man. I don't think skulking or, or force is going to get us there. No, I don't think so. I, I think... Uh... So you can approach him. The question is what your mode is 
when you come up to him, how do you want to present yourself that would make it so that he would be willing to speak with you? Uh, how, how wild are you willing to let me go on this one, folk? <laughs> do, you, do you want to keep it subtle and deniable or? Well, I, I, I think as, as, as long as it works, um, you know, that, that's, that's the key here. Um, yeah. If, if you have a, a, a way to, I mean, we, we need, we need information from Kieran on clearly. I mean, you know, and if we can, you know, if we can get the information we need, um, if you have a way of doing it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to support you. I can't guarantee it's a way of doing that, but it won't be subtle that much. At least I can guarantee uh, time to break out a little bit of sorcery. I think. All right. I'm looking forward to, to seeing what it is you're going to do. Well, I <laughs> let me know how, how uh, difficult this is going to be. I'll, I'll downscale it as needed. Sure. I would like to create the illusion of uh, Church of Denari uh, brute squad breaking down the door in a raid to shut down uh, this scandalous heretical play. Uh, only for it to turn out to see this is where the it gets even less solid uh <laughs> that it, i mean then kind of show that it is an illusion uh and once i have his attention you know we'll we get from there that's where so, folk comes in so so uh, keeping in mind that 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 people are are terrified of wizards and corruption right okay yes <laughs> <laughs> just just want to put that out there uh, 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 that kind of open display might might raise some eyebrows, to say the least. Yes. Okay. Totally new plan. I have information about Thana the Sedate that he wants to know. Okay. Uh, uh, so you are moving up. Oh wait, no. Can still use sorcery. I want a statue standing by to whisper it in his ear. Uh, that the man with the teapot on the head has information about Thana the Sedate. Okay. So he will approach me. I want you to uh, so source as a general ability. This we're going to do this as a uh, uh, a maneuver. Uh, actually, what you can do is here is you can use a sorcery and use your trustworthy, make a trustworthy spend, and we essentially if you work it through your sorcery. Okay. So this statue that is beside him holding this platter. He kind of turns and whispers, and he definitely, like, his back goes up. He's clearly paranoid. His reaction, you definitely see his hands go to some objects at his side. Uh, but then uh, he will look across. He will see you, Ogstreth, to listen to the man with the teapot on his head. Uh, uh, I think it's probably what the, the, the statue says. You can oh, trust him. Uh, and Kiranon will gesture for his two bodyguards and he will move to approach you. Folk, are, are you obviously standing with Augstreth or are you kind of like off to the side? Like I'm not with this guy. No, I, I think I'm, I, I told, I told Augstreth I would, I would back him up. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, be, be, be next to him. Kiranon comes over and says, I don't know you two, and your names are not on the guest list. Yes, our uh, feats of wonder never cease, but I suppose you and I have that in common. What a performance this evening. I've never seen anything like it. What is I it you? Got your sly references to to so many of the characters there. Uh, obviously, uh, Zazamak was in there. I think it was Seeker Dohansen and uh, Thana the Sedate. And th th there was one that I didn't recognize, but it was clearly part of a, of a group, all of a set. So, so well done. Subtle, but profound and incisive. He says, 
all right, we're going to have a conversation. And I'm hoping that that conversation is satisfactory to both of us, because otherwise I need to tell you that this theater is built over a canal. And that sometimes things happen and things get dumped into that canal and then they float out to sea. Well, I've already enjoyed the conversation so far, so we just need to please you and, and we'll all be on good footing. Let's see how that goes. We're going to stop there. <laughs> going to cut away we're going to uh, take our first break here and we're going to come back to bronwyn in the garden sound good yep so we'll take 10 for the first so bronwyn got two things one is that you've got this guy he seems like he might be willing to talk might be willing to share some information with you uh, uh, but he's also suggested that there might be a threat to Caden happening in the house. So which direction do you want to go? Do you want to continue to see what you can get out of him? Or you want to do something else? You're muted. Um, um, and I say, I say to him, look, um, you need to show me as much as you can. Uh, word on the street has it that um, people may be back um, looking for something that they think Zazamek had. That the guild didn't turn up. That's why the guild has protections here. Yes. Well, um, <laughs> that's not necessarily going to be protection against a sorcerer. Right? I don't understand. Um, if uh, someone comes in that can deal with your wraith, they're going to then deal with you. Yeah, I can't. I can't let you in the house. If the guild finds out. I let anybody in the house. I mean, besides the wraith. Look, look. If you want information, I'll tell you what I know. But I, yeah. Um. I'm going to have to trust. Uh, I can't get information to Caden. I'm going to have to trust that he can take care of himself or okay. just get away. Get away. Um, but I'm going to keep an ear cut. Sure. Uh, um, and and you already third. made your uh, trustworthy spend with yeah. this guy. So he'll tell you. So that evening, a few days ago, uh, uh, Zazimak went up to bed uh, uh she'd had some guests that day uh, uh but nobody nobody important nobody striking uh uh went to bed we locked up everything guards were uh out the wards were in place uh and then the middle of the night we heard voices, cries. We just heard Zazimek shouting the the sort of the the like the sound of fighting. Uh, and when we got up to the room, uh, we could hear the the like the, the sound of the body hitting the floor, the gurgling. Uh, and we attempted to open the door, but it was locked uh, uh, and barred. Uh, and by the time we were able to bust the door open, uh, we came inside uh, and uh, Zazimek was dead. 
blade wounds uh, 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 and there was no one in the room and the windows were, were still sealed as they ever were. Uh, uh, and we realized that, that this was going to be bad. Uh, so we sent for one of Zamak's colleagues who uh, arrived with a, a group of people soon after they isolated us and spent the better part of a day questioning us. So we went over the story again and again and again. They they had a warlock with them. They went upstairs and looked into the matter. Uh, they they didn't seem happy about it. What did you smell when you got into the room? Just blood. No, no sulfur, no, no sorcerous or alchemical. That, that, that caught my nose. And certainly no one commented on that. The, 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 there was a candle that was knocked over in the fight, but that was the, the only thing that might be even vaguely beyond just the smell of blood. Did you post someone at the door during the entire time that you were waiting for the guild? Absolutely. Absolutely. We kept the, the, the place under watch, under lock and key. As soon as we realized what was going on and what was going to happen, we uh, shut the door up, uh, uh, posted a person there, and we called for the, the, the guild. You're, sure, you're pretty sure then that no one could have gotten out of the room while you were in no shock. No human to... being could have gotten out of that room without us seeing him or the guild seeing them. And not even, we had people in the doorway the whole time while we were stepped in. They couldn't have gotten past even if they were invisible. Yes. And the material things don't wield blades. No, no. We didn't even find the weapons that they used. Just, just uh, Zazimax blades. Did Zazimax leave any papers behind? Anything that might give a clue? The guild took everything. They took everything. So I give the eye, and it's like, I know that Zazimax would have had a hiding place even against the guild, just in case. Hayden, you got that hackles that have gone up here. Yeah, yeah the good old heebie jeebies. Yeah. I was looking at the blood covered bed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to slowly turn around and see if I observe anything else. Absolutely. I think that you've kept the door open just a crack so you can kind of see here, uh, uh, especially because now you kind of realize that's the only exit out of this room. These windows are very well sealed. They're mm -hmm. almost like walls more than windows here. You could break the glass out, but they don't open outwards. Mm. Um, and you'll see this shadow pass by the doorway and you feel that chill. I think you the Dementor style, maybe there's some frost that starts to form on the glass in here. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I've been learning how to fight, but this doesn't feel like something I can fight. It, that That's a possibility. So I'm going to try to avoid fighting if I, if I possibly can. Um, so I think what I need to do is I start to sing a cheery song, but I am throwing my voice to make it sound like it's coming from across the hall, uh, you know, a, a room on the other end of this floor. 
that is a very interesting what ability do you think that that fits with is could that I, just could just i could do that stealth yeah i think that's just a technique for your stealth yep. so you're going to try and throw your voice mm -hmm. to draw i have off i have this. in my gear a good singing voice Okay. And I am, you know, uh, the the we'll see if you know the stealth spend uh, suggests the ventriloquism works well enough here. So I think to draw this thing off for long enough for you to get out quietly is a difficulty six. For you to draw this thing off, for you to have time to get out of the house noisily is a difficulty five. You don't have Do to it. choose. Okay. Just telling you what what what's going to happen what, what, at a five and yeah, what's going to happen at a I six. See, I see. I uh, see. What's the maximum I can spend? You could a... spend as much as you wanted. You could tap yourself out. <laughs> okay. So I could, I could, uh, I could auto succeed if I was willing to spend the uh, to to spend the points on it. Absolutely. Where's the fun in that? You gotta do yeah, something we'll up the, to chance as the future king of thieves. Oh yeah, of course. We'll let the uh we'll let the dice have their say. I'll, I'm gonna spend three. Okay. It's an eight. It is an eight. So this is what you're good at. You are a master <laughs> of this. That little song goes off, and we see this you know, spectral hooded figure moves towards the sound. And like in the background of the shot, we see you and then down and to the window, you know, you don't make a sound. You just disappear from frame and then pop up and you're outside the window. Uh, and I think you can drop down uh, uh, into the garden none the wiser no one has seen you no one has heard you and you'll see bronwyn talking with this servant out here nice just for flavor i'll say the the song that i was i was throwing is a song that goes something like all hail the glorious king of thieves <laughs> you've been working on it been, been workshopping it but absolutely got it uh led in the garden uh and Caden, you can see Bronwyn has kind of uh, still talking. Do you make yourself known to Bronwyn? Uh, I'll like, I'll like, you know, do like a little like wave to get her attention, but like behind the back of the servant she's talking yeah. to. And, and so you will definitely see Caden there. Um, I, I, I will uh, give him the quickest glance to show I've seen him, but otherwise not uh, say anything Hayden starts miming a like creepy specter to try to report that 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 such a thing is in the house and so I was saying to the servant I say I know that someone like Zazamek would have had a place even hidden from his guild brethren but not for you Family thing, family things, perhaps that he didn't want the guild to get their hands on. Says, this is not like we. <laughs> you you misunderstand who Zazimak was, then, my friend. Uh, he didn't trust anyone, at all. Paranoid, kept logs of, like, who came and with he was trying she was trying to get up in the guild trying to work her way up and and doing it but but paranoid uh, but I mean, none of us would were in her confidence at all so she kept the logbook of who came and went guild took that the person who that uh there was a, a young man who came a couple of days ago asking after, you know, like like you asking for information, but what we didn't have it, and he seemed like he was some sort of priest. He asked about that as well. A describer, it's Carlton. That was him. 
Yes. Reported him to the guild. He's dead, though. The servant goes, not entirely surprised. The guild are angry. Yes, well, the style, the style in which he was killed suits. But the guild don't know why Zazimak was killed. And I think I do. But I can't prove it yet. If Zazimak was as paranoid as you said, she would have had a second set of, she would have had a second journal or a second book. Never one that a thief could have found or that the guild brethren could have easily found and picked up. I think you've been a servant here for how long? This even even the least trustworthy person has habits, has procedures, has I, 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 I am not taking any chances. You've put me in enough danger as it is. Me talking to you is with the guild watching. Look, if you want to find out more, there was one person in the guild of assassins that Zazimak was considered a peer. Uh, 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 and he may be the only one who of the guild is, is actually legitimately upset at Zazimak's death. Uh, so talk to Dargul. All right. Tell him that you, you're hunting for Zazimak's killer. That's all I can give you. This person's telling the truth. Yes. Yeah, I think with, you have you have liars tell, right? I do. Yeah, yeah. I think a, a, a easy read on that for you is is that definitely that's the truth from them. Scared, giving you this name, didn't want to give you the name, but but would like you to be gone. He's really afraid that someone's going to come by and see this, and and that they're going to like decide. Well, somebody, we should just kill everybody in the household. Thank you, friend. I cut back to the opera house. Augstreth, Folk, you're still in the room with, with lots of people around, but Kiranon has maneuvered you over to a place in the corner where there are some cushions and sofas and things and gestures for the two of you to sit down. And he will sit down and his bodyguards position themselves nearby. Did the statue talk to you? The statue got me informed, yes. Then you know that we have some information that I think will be of interest to you. Who precisely are you two? We'll get to that. The important thing, Than of the Sedate is not actually dead. Wait, what? what? You were a member wait, of wait, the wait, 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 wait. Yes, she faked her death. Why would she do that? Oh, I thought he would take this better. Well, and, and, and are you aware of other deaths of, of recent date that are circulating around? Well, speak both... your mind, be direct. The Scarlet Company is causing a lot of Scarlet nowadays in regards to the color of the blood of the dead <laughs> people that are related to subtle you. But not a... fan of the sedate. No, no, no. But the two most, most dangerous of us, Zazimak and Bairakos, they're dead and they're dead in Someone took them on one-on-one -on -one and killed both of them. And 
I have information that that suggests that that is not not merely mortal skill that killed them, but but magic. Both were in locked rooms. But Rocco's for, for 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 all her bluster was a deadly deadly swordswoman and no one could match her in a saber yet her killer killed her with a saber when was this this was a, a week ago hmm. and then zazamak a few days later deadly with blades two hands short blades wicked wicked killer and she's killed with the same blades that she uses and it seemed as if thana had been killed with magic and, and if thana if thana is not dead then then she may be behind this you would accuse a member of your own company your comrade in arms why would she why would she why would she fake her death unless she's doing this? Well, we well need and to find her to find out. Well, and 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 why would she or why would whoever is behind this, why why would they be targeting your company after uh, after so many years? I don't know. Each of us have done very well for ourselves. And we've stayed in our lanes. It's not like any of us compete with one another. Uh, it's not like any of us. I mean, my satires are minor. They are poking fun at my former comrades. They are not. They are not offensive. But uh, like we've gone our separate ways. And and all of us have done well by it. Well, five of you. We know that there, there was one of your company who did not return. Lord Kiranan, forgive us for prying, but time may be of the essence. For all we know, someone could break in here with a loot and attempt to beat you to death any minute. Stops and he looks at you. He says, yes, that is exactly what you should think my abilities are. <laughs> what do you want to spend, Folk, to prize this out of him? Um, I will spend, um, is this to figure out the information the, about the, the sixth member? Yes. To, yeah, to get that, uh, like what he knows about the sixth member here. Would your spirit sight help you? But on, on him, I mean, what am I going to, you know, with the spirit sight? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just wondering if the, the sixth one is dead. <laughs> I, I think felonious intent is one good or maybe intimidation to push him. I, I think, uh, I mean, Given what what uh, Augs just said, I don't know that I want to go with intimidation. Intimidate the scary be, guy. <laughs> just rubbing, steer into rubbing the skid. Salt into the wound. <laughs> um, I I think felonious intent. Um, I I think that that what um, uh, folk, I think folks ploy is this. Folk, folk will say, look, we we are. Um, we, we are intent on getting to the bottom of who is behind these actions. 
Um, and the, what, what we need is, is basically information right now, as painful as that information may be, the, um, the, the, the only way we're, we're, I mean, we have already uh, unraveled quite a bit of this thread and, and we are close to the, the, the damnable thing is that I don't know. We went on this expedition, followed the map, went into this ancient temple. We fought our way through monsters. With little in the way to show for it. And then something happened. And I don't know what it is none of us do. Except that we know that we killed Thane. That we sacrificed him for some reason. We don't know why. We don't know what happened. We came back with almost nothing. We had no memories of what had happened at the end of that dungeon. We couldn't tell anyone that. We came back with it, what, a few magical trinkets, a few baubles, some gold, some things that the church and the tax office went through immediately and took their cut. So we walked away with barely, barely enough to last another few weeks in Eversink. But we did, and we did well, and things turned out well for us. And each of us made our livelihood out of that disaster. And we have done well. Thana didn't believe that it was just happenstance. But who cares when you're doing well? I don't want to listen to a crazy witch woman. I would tell you what happened on that expedition, but I don't know. What did Thana think was causing it? This good fortune. She didn't know. She said every time she tried to figure it out, she lost the thread of it. But you suspect her of killing your comrades. She's a, she's a wizard. They're full of corruption. In 10 years, I'm sure that she's gone over to, to dark side. I'm certain that she's figured out some way to do this. I mean, that, that's, the only, that's the only thing that makes sense. Why else? It's been 10 years. I know that this sounds absolutely wild, Lord Kiranon, but of the six of you that went, which one do you think would hold a grudge against the five that came back? How sure are you that Thane is completely gone? Do they have a statue? Has their soul been bound? Their widow made a statue, sent their soul on. I know that. I feel some guilt for what happened. I've I've given money to her over the years. She has done well by it. I know that some others also donate coin. If there were any that I would think would be uh, would be hold a grudge the only one i could think of would be zazimak and that's only because of all of us she's the one who's progressed least in her profession but i mean even she's risen the ranks within her guild or did did rise in the ranks amongst the guild this money that you and the others have paid thane's widow does it total more than whatever she would come into if all five of you were gone? 
See, I would come into nothing if all five of us were gone. Someone stands to profit from it. I don't know who. I don't know what the profit is. There is a place I know that Thana had as a bolt hole. If she is alive, as you say, there's a chance she is there. You two seem like your stout gentlemen, investigators, men of the world who carry out jobs, tasks, that kind of thing. I'm glad you got that impression. Go and deal with Thana, and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Another person offering to pay us. Oh, uh, I would love to meet her. When she wants to hive, in the past, I know that she has gone to a not particularly, let us say, nice part of town uh the far inland as we get towards the the wet marsh the tanners district she's there uh she hides out with uh various slosh alchemists and uh uh cabal casts offs kind of tap folk on the shoulder and say i bet caden knows all of those guys well i i i know i know the tanners district um so we we will we will find her um uh and yeah i i i i know that um you know I know that, you, that that we both have our own concerns in this matter, and and we are motivated. What is your concern in this matter? Why are you following this at all? What what is the 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 issue? Why why are you on this trail? Well, I give you two answers. Initially, um, we were put on the trail by a sentinel who just wanted to clear his own plate of, of uh, one, a, a crime that, that is associated with this. Um, but as we've dug into it, we've seen, we've seen that the, the evil here is, is it, it, it's ballooned. And um, I have I have personal I have personal matters now kind of at stake with this business. All right, all right. That seems enigmatic and cryptic, but I'll, I'll let that go. Very and, and I think I, I think as he says this, uh, Folk is is kind of reaching into his pouch that has his father's dead hand in it, uh, and is is thinking very much about kind of the. The, the the kind of corruption uh issue that that seems to be uh playing out with this Fair whole enough. affair no. so are we done here gentlemen we've told you all that we know and assume that you've done the same i've nope. told you as much as is related to this topic no use to waste more words then let us go be men of action as you called us yes yes i i look forward to hearing your report uh, and on the way out, say to folk, hey, you don't think that was satire, do you? <laughs> uh, is it okay if I bring the two groups together again? Sure. Are you guys cool with that? Uh -huh. uh, uh, let's let's assume a midpoint tavern uh, here as we get on towards towards midnight. Uh, you've arranged for a rendezvous uh, where the, the four of you can meet and exchange information.
Oh, uh, that was Dargul. Dargul. Yeah, Thank Dargul you. is the name of Zazimuk's peer. So we're we're discussing that, right? We're saying like so. So the leads we have. Yes. Uh, Zazimak was definitely murdered by someone who was matching them technique for technique with their stupid little assassin knives. And uh, the Assassin's Guild did not take this kindly. Uh, they heard about uh, our old friend Ritz Talden uh, poking around and maybe the ones that uh, gave him his quietus. Uh, but uh, the last lead is uh, Dargul from the Assassin's Guild. Right, Bronwyn? Uh, y yes, um, um, no question Ritz Calden was done in by an assassin um, or, <laughs> or an ex-assassin. Um, that sort of needle to the needle, needle shot mm -hmm. is, uh, is, is not um, a technique that, uh, that anyone else uses that I know of. Um, um, so Zazimak, uh killed by what appears to have been somebody with short blades and uh, Berakos killed with a saber. Yes, I think but, it's as our young friend uh, observed everyone being killed by their own methods. Yes. It's like someone wants to show them all up. Satirizing there is, them, there is, there is, were. There, except except that there is no such person uh, who has uh, that panoply of skills. Um, I mean, I mean, I could, I could probably learn if you put your mind <laughs> to it. Someone could, hypothetically. I'm young. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could learn if you had multiple lifetimes. But as far as we know, none of the candidates involved have uh, lived, you know, more than their um, four score spans and even then you'd have to remember it all so yeah that'd be that'd like be really that. that'd be really tricky if you if you lived a really super long time you would probably have forgotten more things than most people know at a certain point trouble forgetting i have trouble remembering things that happened a couple of years ago um but that's probably you flatter me <laughs> that's probably the drink um Furthermore, uh, we're dealing with someone who, if in fact they are a someone, is um, able to get out of, into uh, locked chambers and out again uh, without a trace. It all reeks of the supernatural. I'm wondering if we're dealing, if we are dealing with some sort of sending that is, presents itself as a doppelganger. But you said, you said or something the, like that. You said the creepy cloaked wraith thing. That was just a normal assassin's guild thing, according to according to there's, servant. There's nothing normal about wraiths. They're pestilential things, of sorcery. Uh, but at least heebie jeebies. But but no one. But you see, most things are either material or immaterial. Right, they're either like they're either sorcerers, things like wraiths, which can pass through walls and attack uh, people's minds or souls, or um, or they're physical uh, entities that wield that can wield weapons and such like that. Um, the only things I've ever heard of that can do both of those are sendings from very powerful or very cursed things. Um, and, and um, you know, an, another you know another curiosity is you know we 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 talk, uh, you know we talk to a member of the company, and he has what clearly are you know sections of his memory that right. I mean that that you would you would say well any normal person would would kind of remember what exactly had happened to Thane and you know but but you know he he claims that you know 
there are chunks of this, you know, adventure that that they went on that none of them really have a clear memory of. I mean, well, that, and yes, and specifically, they all came away with the knowledge that they had sacrificed thing, but it doesn't sound like any of them remembered exactly doing it. Mm-hmm. I think I think we should talk to more people from the Scarlet Company. <laughs> uh, now I I know I know a couple of them are dead, and one of them is a big jerk. Uh, but there's one more out there that, uh, unbeknownst to many people, isn't dead. We could we could try tracking her down, right? It is uh, a good lead. Um. Yes. Um. I mean, presumably she is, however, in flight. And so. Uh, so we she, just have to approach with, you know, with, with charm and, you know, uh, an easy smile and a drink in hand and yes, because her we're on her side. Yes, because, 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 yes, because people who are trying to kill you are never charming or. Uh, <laughs> Get you a king of friends that can do both. I'm not. I'm not saying we kill her. I mean, unless it like comes to that. But I think we should. We should talk to her. Hayden, we're not going to kill her. She's a repository of sorceress knowledge. <laughs> I mean, it's possible we'll kill her if, if you know, we have to. But, but I'm. I'm saying we should avoid it if we can. Last resort. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I. You know. But, uh... If you want to grow up to be king of thieves, you shouldn't talk about killing people in, in, in anticipation of possibility. People tend to get ideas when you uh, even speculate in that regard. Okay, but, but sometimes it's good to have a you know, contingency plan. <laughs> I have a contingency plan. I keep it sheathed on my back. Um, but I don't pull it out. Do I have to? So we, we have someone who may know, know more about Zazmak. We have Tiker Dohansen, who may... Who, who is not dead. Who is not dead. But we're Which not, I find strange. With <laughs> but the question is... A question shard is, of dead. Yeah, so the question is, do we know that uh, Hansen was a member of the Scarlet Company? We got confirmation, like out of character. We did get confirmation of that. Yeah, I, I think I think that it, uh, uh, not, right? if even if I didn't mean to, but Karen, uh, uh, even if I didn't say it, Karen, I would have would have confirmed those names. I think he he gave you those. Well, not everyone in the Scarlet Company is dead, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that they're not all marked for death. Uh, two are two are alive insane. for real. One is fake dead, and then there's Thane, who's a big old question mark. They remember well, sacrificing Thane. Well, that's the thing. I they think remember a single... remembering sacrificing Thane. It doesn't yeah. sound like they remember sacrificing Thane per se. If Thane was not sacrificed, but given up to some entity, uh, they or whatever they have become may be the agents of the other's destruction. I've heard stories like that, it seems to me. I can't remember who told me. Well, I'm going to put Thane's widow on our list of leads at any rate. Which is- Sometimes you're awfully forgetful, Bronwyn. <laughs> I remember the things that I have to remember. There. Uh, I remember having been to the Goddess's Island almost a fortnight. Really should do it as soon as we're done. Okay. Oh, wait, that's using list already. So I've heard a couple of different directions to go in. One is to uh, follow up on this uh, person who faked their death. Uh, you have a mage, you have a commoner, you have some people who know what's going on there. It's probably the kind of place you want to go with everybody to check out if you want to do that. 
uh, otherwise, we have uh, some other people to, to, to potentially talk to that we could uh, split up on. What does the group think that they wish to do? Well, the everyone going to look at Thana meta hint sounds important. <laughs> yeah, that, that seems like the most exciting thing to do. And therefore the correct one. Well, I think of all the all those that we know to be at the Scarlet Company and still alive, they are the most likely to understand what came after the others. On the other hand, Caden, if you wish excitement, we do need to investigate the tax office documents. <laughs> oh, oh. There might be too much excitement for the King of Thieves. I'll take a wraith instead. <laughs> <laughs> the tax office burned down. I don't know what happened. Uh, let's take our second break. Let's take five, and then we'll cut to the delicious uh, scents of the, uh, to the tanning district. Now, Falk, in a previous scene, you said a very interesting thing. You said, I know people in the Thanners district. So tell me about this. How is it that, that you are familiar with the Tanner district and who is it that you might know there? I, um, okay, well, um, I do know it. I, I I think it's probably tied to the to my enemy, the sorceress cabals. Okay. Um, that uh, you know, uh, I I don't think it's surprising to to folk to hear that that's where um, Thana would have would have you know run off to. That that I mean, the Tanner's district is it's on the edge of town. Nobody likes to go there because the 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 smell of the tanning is so you know overpowering so it, it's it's an area that people avoid and and i think i i have run into uh some uh sorcery in that in that area it's, it's yeah. like a, a great a gr it's a great cover for all sorts of uh business you've mopped up a few a few rogue uh, sorcerers who've gone to ground there before so you kind of know know the lay of the land uh tell me bronwyn like the the tanners district is a little bit isolated from the other areas uh uh how is that done is it is it a few bridges is it uh that you have to absolutely take a boat over to it uh, is it that the, the the walkways aren't well maintained? What do you think the isolation comes from? Um, I think uh, that uh, uh, that there's a ferry. There's a rope ferry, uh, which is the only way in lieu of a bridge. Um, nobody wanted to spring for anything as expensive as a bridge just going to the Tanner's Island, given that nobody nobody could live there, really, except the people who work there. Um, so the, you know, supplies, you know, go to and from on a barge that is, uh, that is pulled by rope across, um, an, an estuary. Yeah. And it's a big record because that, the, they do supply necessary good for the city. So it does go back and forth pretty regularly. There are merchants that go to trade and alchemists that go over to, to sell wares and come back. And, uh, uh I think, when you get over there and the, the canals that are running through this district, they are greasy uh, and uh, uh, that sort of effluvia foam that you get from the runoff of the, the acids and the, 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 the guts and the, the, the fat that isn't captured for other uses just uh, goes off there. Um, uh, what else is striking and unique about this area, Caden? It's the Tanner's district. Yeah. Every building has some, you know, some hide uh, hanging from its awning, you know, like a sign. And the, you know, the, the fancier the building or the more 
kind of successful the tanner, the more uh, exotic the hide they choose to uh, to advertise themselves with. Like you have, you're seeing you know stripes and spots and hides of creatures from far afield of Eversink uh, put on display as a way of showing that you know this tanner has has contacts reaching reaching far and wide. Yeah, probably besides the tanners, we probably got a lot of dyers that are in the area as well. Mm -hmm. So we get those different designs. There are interior workshops that go, you know, onto the canals, but then there are also rooftop uh, uh, places which have the big vats and then have drying racks and that kind of thing. So there's a very much a, uh, a an upper level to the district and a lower level. Uh, and there are people that move around here and the smell is Oxtreth. Have you ever been here before? No, I was thinking that as we were describing it, that someone who has been cloistered in the church for so long would have had no reason to go to the Tannery District. Uh, and it is showing on his face right now. Yeah, you thought that the vinegar and pickle incident was like the smell and the, the, the pungency of that was extreme. This is like you had no idea that urine could concentrate and have this odor such that it almost hangs yellow in the air for you. I, I feel like you don't need this level of poetry. The <laughs> <Yesuvia> <laughs> foam and the urine hanging yellow in the air. I trust you're enjoying the sights and sounds of the Tanner's District. <laughs> it's, I, I'm assuming we're on a little ferry now and it's, yeah, he's, he's looking seasick, but it's not the sea. <laughs> So what is the, the plan? Uh, you certainly uh, can uh, uh, spend from an ally. Folk could do that. Uh, I know you've got commoners, uh, Caden. That's another uh, option. Uh, how, how, do you, how does this look? How does this proceed here? I, I thought I might, you know, put the word out and uh, talk to some of my, you know, network of, uh, of ne'er-do-wells and such. Is, is that all right with folks if I uh, give that a, uh, give that a go? Make a spend from commoners. All right. Yeah, I'll spend a point of commoners to see if anyone can, uh, can point us towards the, uh, you know, where, where, where we would be able to find uh, Thana the Sedate. You'll talk to someone who is a cousin of a friend uh, uh, of one of your one of your siblings uh, uh, who will will come, you know, they they have all of the sort of the discolorations that you get from working with these kinds of materials for for years. And uh, they'll say, oh, you're looking for one of the one of the mages that's around. Uh, sp specifically one who recently relocated here after uh you know trying to try to disappear from elsewhere in Eversink. Uh, there's a lot of good uh below water built basements here mm. uh, uh uh from from the old days uh and there are a lot of alchemists that come and like there's a lot of runoff that gets in the walls and changes into other things. So we got a lot of people that that gather for those things. But I think I know who you're talking about uh, uh, because uh, uh, she's got money to spend. Ah, uh, yes, been, money talks. Been been buying and hiring people to 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 bring things. Uh, uh, if you go down. Uh, the uh, Avenue of the Elk. Uh, uh, you'll come to uh, a, a building there. It's kind of a, a safe house rental space. Uh, Wendell manages it. There are some alchemists and stuff to live upstairs. Avenue I hear the elk, that Wendell. If, 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 give, give her here. He's given her the the whole of the the, the basement. Ooh. Thank you kindly. And I will like toss a coin to my informant here. Ah, thank you much. You're a generous man, King of Thieves. <laughs> I'll do a courtly bow. 
Uh, uh, yeah, I will. I will work. I will, you know, show the like scribbled notes on my hand to my uh, compatriots and convey to them this uh, this information. And do keep in mind, we are late at night at this point, by the way. Oh, it's yeah. the same. I didn't know there wasn't a time jump here. I hadn't done time jump yet. Uh, uh, so you'll arrive. We do that kind of wipe, do a Star Wars wipe across. And there is uh, these buildings, again, making your way down these canals that are more narrow than in other places, uh, uh, but but definitely more more colorful with the sheen on them. Uh, you keep, the walkways are narrow enough here that you have to be careful. You don't want to fall off into the canals here at all. Um, and you will see this freestanding building. Uh, it looks like it's a couple of stories tall. It has the look of a building that if you push really hard on it, like you could probably get it to start tipping over. Uh, and uh, uh, there's a, you know, a, a, a front door uh, and the equivalent of a, of, a, of a front desk there. You can see that there are various fumes and things coming up from the upstairs windows, cooking fires and other colored smokes. Uh, and how do you want to approach this? Who's good at talking their way in? So actually, I am. I know I usually just uh, break into places, but I do have points in charm and sway and whatnot. So I, I'm supposed to be able to talk to people. Yeah, let's let the king go. Hayden. Wow. Okay. All right. Saunter. Uh, oh, you're going to have me do that. Okay. Saunter in the front door. So what the information I got says that she's been she's been hiring people. Yeah. Like maybe I you know knock on the door and say, you know, hey, I'm here about the job. And uh, the 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 kind of the 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 knock on the door is more more kind of a, a push in and the, you see there's the guy behind the the little desk in here, which what what, what, what job? I heard uh, someone uh, down below was uh, hoping to to hire some hands, and uh, I've got I've got two of those, and uh, I'd love to uh, interview for the position. Let's have you make that charm spend. Okay, um, that's just a I just spend it. Yeah. All right, spending a charm. Says so you alone, or you've got uh, compadres. Do I have to spend more if I say I have compadres? No. Okay. I was like, yeah, yeah. I've got a, I've got a whole, a whole crew of uh, uh, helpful people with me. You can come in, guys. It's all right. Okay. Goes, uh, go around this. There's a door down the stairs. Go down. Uh, turn. Uh, uh, and uh, she'll, she'll see you. Thank you kindly. And I'll leave I'll leave a coin on that desk too because okay. why not? Uh, uh, yeah. Because you didn't have to set your lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm just uh, you know I think I think I think unless otherwise specified, we can assume that every coin Caden spending is something he has you know pickpocketed from someone we've passed in the street. That that seems seems fair. Caden, open the store. There's these this set of spiral stairs that go down, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can start down them. Uh, I, I think the second that you kind of get below the level of the floor, you feel the dank mm. uh, here. Uh, the, the anywhere in, are we in, technically underwater? You are technically underwater at that point. Interesting. Uh, and that that is the thing here. You you can tell you kind of. Uh, like you can feel the, how do I put this? Uh, you can feel the wet coming in uh, 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 between every single piece of mortar and brick here. 
uh, and you will come uh, down uh, the stairs and you will hear like someone coughing, like coughing badly, like very sick kind of thing down here uh in kind of you see you're in a room with kind of like a magical lab and there's another door that goes on into the other room little little firelight flickering here hello we're uh we heard you needed some help anybody here you will hear the coughing like stop and kind of a thud and you hear uh, who is there it's uh it's me Caden Cole uh, Caden Coyle and uh I've brought some some helpful friends uh can we can we chat have a little conversation and you will see the door open and you will see this beautiful, beautiful sorceress. Uh, she steps out, shuts the door behind her. Uh, uh, immaculate hair, beautiful jewelry, like that purplish dress is a beautiful shade of violet. She steps out and uh, she says, well, there's there's several of you here. You certainly must be a master of magic to stay looking that good in these conditions. One does what one can. Listen, I know you've come here, but the hour is late. If you could return back in the morning, then I'm sure that I will have some work for you. We're not sure that you will have anything if we don't discuss it now, I'm afraid. We've uh, we've been meeting with some former colleagues of yours, uh, not all of whom are still breathing, sad to say. You know, we would like to keep as many of the survivors breathing as possible, including- We, we didn't kill any of them. Oh yes, yes, to be, to be clear, to be clear. <laughs> Uh, we didn't. I've we didn't told kill you about any your them. sentence construction before, Keaton. That was very unclear. <laughs> it's 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 more like it's more like we're here to save you from whatever it is killed the rest of them. She'll step over to one of these side tables with some bottles and things like that, and just kind of starts f f fidgeting with those. Uh, really, this is very interesting. Well, fuck. Before I have you say anything, Oxford, Falk, could I have you make a spirit sight spin for me? <laughs> yes. There is something decidedly wrong with this woman. <laughs> she's like, she's there and not there at the same time. And she'll turn around and she'll she'll look and say, well, that does seem dire, doesn't it? And why have you gotten in the middle of this business? Goodness of our hearts, mostly, right? Yeah. No. Um, there are certain personages who don't want any more important people to die than already has. Or at least not without knowing why. Oh, so it's a question of why rather than, than prevention? It's complicated. It is. Anything you can help with would be valuable, and we have no desire to put you in peril. Well, I have very little time left, so... Yes, I heard you coughing. Oh, that wasn't me. And she'll pops these corks off of these bottles and she throws them down in front of you 
Man. And they will shatter and you will see these. You can tell they're like animated spell forms explode out one of fire, one of earth and one of water. And they begin rushing towards you. You're right. was right. <laughs> uh, let's start. Uh, I think that our fastest reaction person who has listed by athletics here. Let's see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Everybody I think it's Bronwyn by a Bronwyn mile. Bronwyn by a mile. Look, Bronwyn, these spell things shatter to the ground and these arcane uh, uh, s- twisted spell uh, elementals begin to, to, to move in this room. Um, what do you do? Um, well, as, <laughs> as she made a move with the, the bottles, my inclination was to try to pick her uh, with, my, uh, with my throwing knife. Okay. Um, uh, that- I, uh, whatever these things may may do, they may. They, <laughs> I don't wish her to uh, to add uh, too much to them. Okay, uh, um, so that is warfare. Yes. What do you want to spend? Um. Um. I'll spend. Great. Great. So uh, you need a, uh, her threshold is four. Uh, Go ahead and uh, make that roll for me. Just a seven. So that will hit. Uh, So uh, you're going to roll a D6 plus one for damage. And I think the thing is that the that the dagger will hit and it kind of hangs there for a second and then it just kind of falls straight down. Uh, uh, it definitely hit something solid, but the the didn't connect. Caden, what do you do? Uh, I want to do a s- slide, you know, between or under the legs of the constructs to try and avoid this fight entirely and uh, make it into the back room that uh, the, the whatever we've been talking to came out of to okay. see if I can understand what that what was actually going on back there. So I think that is an athletics six <laughs> test to get past all of these things and her uh, and get through that door. I think five will get you to the door. Six will get you past the door. <laughs> All right. Um, and and remind me remind me about what I can do when I spend an investigative ability for a general check. So if an appropriate investigative ability helps, you can spend that to give yourself a plus three bonus on a related general ability. Hmm. Yeah, I think this. I think this is the time for my my second uh, bit of ridiculous luck. Okay. And so you've spent spent three. For, you get three for the ridiculous luck, and then do you want to spend any from from your athletics? Yeah, I'll spend. I'll spend. Um, I'll spend one from athletics too. That so makes sense. There you go. Plus four. Yeah. All right. Slide to the door. Slide two slash through the door. Single D6 comes to an eight. Would add like everything I've rolled this uh, session. Roll past to throw open the door. You'll see a messy lab. Uh, you'll see blood on the floor. Uh, you will see a much less elegant looking version of that woman that you see out there mm-hmm. who's kind of you can see that there's a rag stuffed in her mouth uh, uh, and, uh, you know, her hair is tangled. Her clothing is matted and stained. Um, the the person you saw out there is the most er-beautiful version of her. Um, and you can tell that she's dying. 
who goes after you? I forgot we do popcorn initiative in this. Oh, shoot. Um, my options are your are options are Oxtrith, separate Falk, Constructs, and Doppelganger. Mm, okay. So I can, uh, yes. Um, I guess, I guess the Constructs. Okay. I want to see what they do. All right. Uh, then the Constructs. Uh, uh, the uh, fire one is going to uh, uh, move over to where you are at, Bronwyn. Bronwyn, what is your physical threshold? Uh, it's four. Four. Uh, so I will spend three. Oh, I should probably add a die to my roll. Ah, so just hits you. Uh, so I will roll uh, damage. Uh, we'll do six points of, of physical damage to you. What's your grit? Uh, my grit is um, a one. Okay. Uh, so you're going to take five points of uh, health. Essentially, okay. as it rushes over and lashes at you with these fiery hands. Uh, Presumably, I had to dodge before the damage roll. Pardon? Presumably, I had to dodge before the damage roll happens. Yes. Uh, yes, you can. Let's go back to the thing. Sorry, I let me look that up because I I forgot how dodge works because it's different than other. Uh, yes, I don't I don't recall from before. Yeah. Dodge is an athletics talent, which you have. And let's see what it says. We haven't done combat for a while, so here we are. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, after you've been successfully attacked, but before your full world's damage, uh, you can spend one point of uh, uh, athletics and roll, at least one point of athletics and roll an athletics test. You must meet or exceed the attacker's successful results. Uh, so all you need is a four. I'll spend two. Okay. I always give fortune a chance. So you will be able to Seven. dodge out of the way of that. Uh, Oxtrith, this water uh, elemental comes splashing uh, over towards you uh, and will strike at you. What is your morale threshold? Uh, four. Four, okay. Uh, so that will hit. Uh, uh, and I'm going to roll its damage. Uh, you're going to take six points of morale harm. Is that less grit? Yes, le uh, less uh, uh, grit. Still not great. Yeah. Uh, essentially, as it reaches out and it starts drawing the fluid out of you. Uh, starts drawing That's that out uh, uh, there. Uh, and folk, uh, this earth uh, elemental will rush past you and starts pounding on the wall. Hmm. Hmm. The wall of this building that you described is looking like you could maybe push it over and it would fall into the sea. They have more at the basement wall that would be broken out and the canal would come flooding into here. Oh, right. okay. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't that's, make that's much worse. progress. I will pass it to you, Falk. Um, well, I, I'm, I'm kind of inclined to think that the destruction of the wall may, may be a bad thing for us. <laughs> um, so I, I think what folk is going to do and, and that elemental has 
has its back to me, I, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming. And um, yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll uh, attack it and uh, attempt to uh, either dispatch it or if not, perhaps uh, draw its attention elsewhere. Is your intention more to do damage to it or more to pull it away from what it's doing? Um, I, I'll, I'll try to do damage to it. Okay. Need a three to hit it. Okay. And then this is using my warfare. Uh, I can use warfare. Um, Okay, and and I also I can't remember because I have the cleave that goes uh, with yes. this. So, so I'll, um, uh, cleave is uh, you may injure more than one target on a high warfare attack roll, uh, and we have a little bit of notes on that under the rules notes page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but this is I guess that that really won't enter into this if I'm if I'm mainly trying to. Well, you said you were trying to destroy it. You're trying to dispatch yes. it, right? Right, right, okay. right. Um, so, um, but a high roll can possibly do a critical hit, which means you might get an extra eye damage. Um, yes, I'll I'll spend uh, two. Okay. Um, so do that, and then I will go here. And so, if you get an eight. That's a critical. Otherwise, a three or better is a regular hit. So that will hit. So roll me 1d6 plus one. You can also spend your investigative abilities besides giving yourself a, a, a plus on the, the to, to spend. You can also spend investigative ability uh, if it's appropriate to give yourself an extra die on damage from a thing. Um, but folk, I think you will hit this thing and it is, as you feared, it is an earth elemental. Uh, uh, it, it hits into it, but this thing is solid uh, uh, and your blade reverberates. But folk, who goes after you? Is it the doppelganger or is it Ogstreth? Um, I'll go with Ogstreth. Ogstreth. Yeah. I would like to make an illusion okay. uh, that looks like I am drawing all of the elementals back into their bottles. Interesting. Uh, so your intent is to fool her? Yeah, I'm trying to demoralize her. Like, that was the best thing you got. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's have you then, uh, you can uh, spend that sorcery to do morale damage to her. What am I rolling against for this one? Uh, so her morale threshold is a four. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's spend... Is this the thing where if I roll over by a bunch, you can have extra good things? Yes. If you roll been over, if you roll over by five or more, it's a critical. That's, that's a lot though. Five is a lot. Um all right, I'm just gonna spend two and go for it. Okay. Don't forget if you have an investigative ability that's appropriate, you can always spend that to uh, boost yeah, some things up. Poking around. Oh, taunt. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, do you want to use that to give yourself an additional plus three? I would love to do that thing. So then roll with a plus uh, with a total of plus five. Now we're talking. It is an eight. It is an eight. So not quite enough to do a critical, uh, but you will roll a, a d6 uh, plus one. Uh, and the minimum damage that you roll is actually, I just realized, uh, uh, I have to remind us of this because I've forgotten this. Whatever you spent is the minimum damage that you do. So actually, Falk, you would have done a, a little more damage to that uh, uh, figure. Uh, uh, and uh, the same thing with uh, Brandon's thrown knife. Uh, so she has taken a little bit of damage. Uh, uh, so Oxreth, uh, a D6 
plus that one. six. Six points of damage. I think that there's that, like, a moment where she, like, turns. She goes next. Uh, she was going to go after Caden, but she sees you oh, no. dismiss the uh, 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 elementals, apparently, and you see her raise her hand uh, and she lets loose with these spirits at you. What is your morale? Uh, the threshold, threshold or, okay, uh, four. Four, okay. Uh, so we'll roll. That is a five. She will hit and she will deal just uh Two points of morale damage minus uh, your grit. So you kind of feel the spirits come up, but they don't land as well as they ought to. However, she went last in the round, so she gets to choose who goes first in the next round. So I'm going to start with the constructs. Doesn't seem sporting for her to pick that. It oh, doesn't yeah. seem sporting, and yet that's the way it's going yeah, to go. That's to, exactly to, what you think. Yeah. Uh, I think that. Uh, let's start with you, Oxford. The water elemental is going to again try and, and drain more water from you. Uh, we'll hit and we'll deal two points of morale damage to you, less your grit. So, just in case I need to know, when you get to zero morale, what happens? So, here is what happens, uh, and there's a chart for this at the top of the morale notes. Uh, when you're at morale zero or above, you're able to think and act normally. It's only once you get to negative morale that we start having some issues. Uh, if you get to negative morale, you immediately make a difficulty for morale test to stay active in the scene. Uh, your general ability test uh, difficulty increases. Uh, that's the... that's. That's the sort of the minus one to minus five. Uh, so Bronwyn. Wow, minus 10 morale is brutal there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fire elemental, uh, taking another slash at you, will hit. Uh, so right now it's got a, a six to hit you. Do you wish to dodge? Um. Uh, yes, I'll try to that. Okay. I'll spend three. Uh, spend three from warfare. Uh, athletics, right? Oh, athletics. Sorry. And uh, um, now we'll dodge. Very nice. Uh, and then this earth elemental uh, is going to continue pounding on the wall and does not do a very good job of it. Uh, uh, once more, the curse of the GM and the dice roller has reared its ugly head. Uh, Caden, you go. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and say is the real uh, Thana the Sedate is here dying but not dead. Something has happened to her. You can tell that 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 it is some kind of spiritual disruption as well as physical disruption here. Um, I pull the rag out of her mouth. Do you want to get her last words? It seems, seems seems like the least I can do. She'll look up at you because it, it, I'd forgotten everything. I didn't know. It didn't choose me. It, 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 it was in all of us, like an egg. And, and it only chooses one. And then, then, this and there's only one left and when it's when the last one comes it it will it will it will hatch 
it will hatch. And that's that sounds really like it's probably really bad. Who <laughs> narrows her eyes? Yes, yes, that's real. All the hey, people hey. I could have given my last words to. It's this guy. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know. It's a no. Oh. Ah, damn it. Uh, <laughs> who goes after you, Caden? <laughs> oh boy. Um, I'm gonna give it to Ogstreth this time. Ogstreth, what do you do? You've got a water elemental and and a doppelganger uh, uh sorceress both on you. Things are looking up. Uh, well, a second ago, I thought, oh, we're gonna run in and help Caden revive uh, Thana, and she'll save us from this mess. But it doesn't seem like that's still a going concern. I mean, we should, we should probably try to try to kill this thing, right? That seems like we should continue to do that and not run away. Do we have anyone for running away? <laughs> anyone? Are you thinking about <laughs> uh, So she just died. Wait, tell me, tell me more about the deal about death and statues and the spirits and and stuff like. Well, normally, uh, 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 the the spirit would go out and then it'd be a statue for. But this doppelganger, uh, uh, and such like, it's destroyed that. This doppelganger essentially is effectively her soul right now, pulled uh, out by this thing. Interesting. So, so it's everybody's like, being killed by their own souls, and yeah, uh, they're they're cursed uh, souls from whatever horrible rate that they got involved in. Which does suggest, if this is uh, her her soul, then actually your statue magic might work on it. That's what I was wondering if I can bind her into a statue. Uh, sure. Let's let's go for it. Okay. Uh, so now here's the question. Uh, I just point out to you that if you want to make real sure of this, you could always spend corruption. I mean, I'm absolutely going to spend corruption. Okay, Come absolutely. That's, uh, that was that's table stakes. Come on. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, go ahead and uh, spend your sorcery. A target number for her is a four. Uh, and the corruption just gives me access to more effects. That's not a plus three. And what it does uh, uh, is uh, affects lots of targets or does exceptional damage, uh, trigger area effect damage, create non-unique, uh, non-standard unique spells. Uh, uh, so yeah, you can you can uh, either do sev- like severe damage, uh, uh, sort of um, uh, storyline wise, or if you want to try it, like uh, have her locked in place right now. You could do that. All right, but it doesn't add to the roll. Doesn't add to the roll, okay. no. Uh, so I will spend three. Okay. And I guess we'll we'll see what happens after that roll. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a five. So that will hit. Uh, go ahead and roll me a d6 uh plus one just so i kind of know the the range of things here a four a four so what does that look like like what do we see this is going to do massive damage to her spiritual energy so what what do we see happen so she's not out right that's it's not going to be out but she is is you're going to tear apart her spiritual essence quite a bit here i think um so we're in a basement that's been rented out numerous times for various clandestine operations. Um, trying to think what kind of statues would have been left in here. Uh, something crude. Uh, oh, you know what? I think there was some kind of smuggling operation and it was like, uh, you pop the head off of the little statues and you can put statues anywhere in this town, no one will notice. And there's a little violin. It's, it's, it's poorly done. Um, and it's, like parts of her spirit are ripping off and going into the vial of the statue, nice. but like not all of it, but it's kind of that, um, oh gosh, what movie am I thinking of where the tearing away? Ghost? No, I don't think it's that. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
and like I think I'm also trying to get over there thinking if I tap the the head on this false statue that that maybe that'll uh contain her absolutely it kind of sh- 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 the figure is shaking there as you're doing that I need you to figure out do you want to internalize this corruption or do you want to externalize it internalize okay uh so you need to make a health roll at difficulty four oh forgive me yeah um I, I have to open the door my partner is sick Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, um, I didn't. I didn't know. I heard her. I heard her moaning, and, and anyway, she needs my help. So okay. I'll All see, right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Yep. So, Oxtreth, uh, uh what is it? Uh, that, 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 yeah, how much health do you want to spend on the health roll, or do you just want to make it flat? So you sp- you can spend health on the health roll. Yep. And then if you miss the health roll, you hurt your you health. Lose. You lose you lose what you spent, and you lose uh, the 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 health uh, difficulty of four. Delicious. Yeah, uh, is it my threshold that I'm rolling against? Uh, no, it's a uh, difficulty three. Plus, you also spent one corruption, so the difficulty is a four. Uh, how much health damage would it do to me if I miss? So, uh, if you miss, you're going to take four points of health damage. <sighs> It's just the perfect amount to just <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, plus, if you plus the whatever the margin is, you missed the four by, so it All could right. be more. I'm gonna spend two. Okay, and we'll see what happens. It's a five. It's a five. So you will. What does that look like? Like fighting off the the corruption there. Uh, so I still end up with like some kind of. There's some energy that you're dealing with, but it, it doesn't create a permanent effect or a, a long term. Like there's a just a, uh, a a feeling of change that doesn't get uh, out of your control. Did I miss my role the last time I did corruption? Because I did get a mark. I, I think you just decided you wanted to have. A oh, mark I do want a mark. Time. Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think just, that was more of a, in the fiction. Hey. Um, so I think uh, destabilizing the the whole like spirit soul connection in here is is overgeneralized, and I'm also fighting to keep my spirit from going uh, into the statue because there's multiple statues, right? Like, right. Uh, I'm I'm fighting against that and battling against that. This figure is kind of stuck, held by the the magic that you summoned, the powerful sorcery of that. I think that's creating disruption amongst those those constructs, folk. What do you want to do? Um, I uh, we'll see if 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 something like this will work. Um, I have um, my preparedness at rank eight, which gives me a flashback. Okay. Um. Could we say for a flashback, and this might, uh, I'm thinking this is going to pull in my uh, enemy of the sorceress cabals, which I know are are in this area. Sure. Could we say that while Caden was off getting um, information about the this location, mm-hmm. Folk had, had peeled off and made contact with um, a member of a sorcerer's cabal who he knew. Okay. And has had to make a devil's bargain because this is an enemy. Okay. Right? Yeah. But informed the this person who I, I've had a run in before with, um, but informed them uh, that that we we were kind of tracking down um somebody who had recently taken up residence and uh that we might need some some sorceress help in this okay and if, if they let me help i would pay them back handsomely not in wealth but but in my position i i would um, oh, no no there's no need we know your father We'll be glad to have you in our debt, as we had your father in our debt. How much you want to spend on preparedness? Um, th- what what am I going to need to roll for the? 
Well, I think the higher you roll, the more effective this is going to be, buddy. I, I'll i spend four. Okay. Preparedness. Let's see you roll that. All right. Um, oh, yeah. A 10. So tell me, what thing did they give you that you whip out to shatter this spirit? Is it a wand? Is it a sigil? Is it another severed hand? I, I, that's what I was actually thinking. Is is it is it is uh, another severed hand with 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 the strong smell of tanning on it, right? Okay. I mean, it it, it is it, it's kind of like a sorcerous <laughs> acid that smell that that it has. And, and he will pull that out, and Oxford, you'll see this. And Caden, as you're kind of looking up, you'll see this fiery hand that Folk throws across the room, and it hits this figure of the sorceress, and she will shatter. And those constructs will, <laughs> in a sequence, kind of split off, and then there's just the sound of, like, dripping water and the tinkle of broken glass here. Caden, you have a chance. What is the one last thing you want to ask her before she passes? Oh, she's not. I thought she was. I'm going to give you one more, one totally more bite better. of the apple here. More last words for Caden. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, check it with the table. What's What's the key thing we still need to know here? I, I guess how, how, how do we, we want to know how to save the other people, right? Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. How, how do we bring an end to the, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. This. Listen, I, we're trying to, we're trying to help. We're trying to stop it. We're trying to make, make things right and make it so you haven't died in vain, but how do we stop it? What do we do? We have to find and protect for, there are only two of us left. One of us. One of us is intended to survive and the other has to be killed. You have to figure out and protect Gurgle. Can we just protect both? Wouldn't, would that work? Would that help? <laughs> <sighs> and she will kind of go, go limp there. What do you say to the others, Caden? I think, I think I found the real Thana here. She's dead now, but, but she said some stuff. Do you share the stuff at this time, or is that a later on kind of? I think I think in like a slightly, like you know, slightly traumatized way. Um, uh, Caden will try to recount uh, as you know best as as best he can what he heard. It's a traumatized version of the traumatized confession of the egg inside of us. <laughs> it's pretty weird. That's where we're going to stop for tonight. That leads us. You have two suspects, two possible culprits. You have dangers on the horizon. And you One know that there is, there is something that if they can kill the last of the five that they need something will manifest in the final. So there's we go. Uh, I would like to do a quick stars and wishes, if you don't mind, just to, to kind of uh, uh, do a, a wrap. Uh, Keith, uh, stars, wishes? I think you go first today. This is very exciting. Um, enjoyed it, as always. I really liked a couple of the details. Um, Alexi being right on the, oh, I stole tickets. Like, just throwing that right in. Seeing <laughs> folks' backstory play out in the present as like uh, a lever that that is helping us was really neat. And also, mm -hmm. uh, Robbie, your description of the play, I thought was spot on and added so much to what came after. Um, 
And as, as far as the villain, that was super creepy at the end. <laughs> it's very nicely done. Nice. Uh, any wishes for next time? So we got that final session for Oxford. I think it's probably a thing I have to push at myself, and I think I almost got there, but I'm hoping to use the Guild of Architects and Canal Watchers ah, okay. ally that I have, which uh, since we're into some weird nonsense, seems like they might be a useful resource. I like it. Nice. Uh, Alexi. Yeah, um, this is fun. Stars, stars for um, Caden finally getting to interact with NPCs, uh, a thing I like noted a couple times and then didn't always live up to because I was like, oh, I'll sneak around and not interact <laughs> with NPCs. Um, but but after some sneaking around, I did do some interaction with NPCs, including you know this dying woman. So so that's great. Um, stars for uh, stars for Augsreth, uh doing the illusion of rebottling the elementals. That was super fun and clever as a as an approach to this conflict. And obviously to folk for the flashback at the end, which was so dramatic and juicy. Um, wishes. Uh, if there if there is you know any space for Thieves Guild nonsense in the in the last session, I am I am here for it. Okay. And we'll try to get that on the table. Uh, and Robbie. Um yeah, another really uh, really fun session. Uh, I, I love seeing Ogstrith, uh really uh, stretching himself and and figuring out like kind of crazy uh, plans. I, I really like the initial crazy plan that you were trying to, to <laughs> kind of come up with uh, at the opera house, but then we're kind of like thinking, yeah, that, that's that may be like a, a bridge too far. Well, glad we <laughs> workshop that a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and I also liked, uh, you know, the scene with, with the Wraith and, uh, that, I, I, you know, the, 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 the ventriloquism trick worked, uh, nicely. And, and I, I love the kind of interplay that was going on with, uh, with, uh, you know, Bronwyn, uh, that downstairs and, and also deciding that, you know, basically, you, you he was going to leave you uh, to your own devices to work, work your way out of that. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was a brave choice on 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 Brandon's part, and a, you know, a, a good one to to trust the other other PC. Which it was a it was a good moment yeah. there. Yeah, um, but yeah, it, it, and this the the session really, uh, you know, it had great build up, and and the, this final uh, conflict was really uh, quite uh, quite uh, delicious. Um, so, um, you know, and well, well, I appreciate the kind of work that you do in terms of choreographing, uh, the split up groups and the groups coming back together. It's working really well. Uh, any wishes for next time? Uh, and, and next time is going to be our last session. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm having fun with, with the, the corrupt hand thing. So I, yeah, I, I don't like know that. if, if, uh, and, and I've, I've kind of put myself on a hook here with, uh, uh, my, my sorcerer friend. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, right. So, um, you know, if there was, some, if there was some way of, of kind of, uh, bringing, you know, continuing to have that in, in play, that would be fun. Okay. I thought of an additional wish. I would okay. like to see Caden pickpocket folk uh, to find out how many hands are in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in, in as as per backstory, I've done it once already. <laughs> hands all the way down. <laughs> awesome. Thank you all so much. I'm going to stop the recording.